Shalom, and welcome back to the Latter-day Arbiter. I am K.L. William. You know, today I figured I'd try my cosplay and actually show it to you guys, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's all there, but it's just some of the way that it is. I could show you everything about it, but the point is, is that, like, I just have something that I've, that's been on my mind for a while. I was going through my usual esoterica videos and he referenced a guy by the name of just a different uh, YouTube channel but I was going through that one and it had a video a thumbnail saying you know God is dead and why you shouldn't have to worry about it and I'm like why would you say something like that what kind of way does it make you feel at peace to know that something like that doesn't exist? It's like, I, it, I mean, I didn't watch the video because I was like, I stood there confused on like different ideas for the whole thing. But understanding that like, if it's about freedom, then you have to understand that free, freedom is not given by this lack of something in your life or getting rid of something in your life that just that you feel bound by because really the ultimate lie is that when you think something is holding you back like I don't know religion and you feel like alcoholism pornographic indulgence sexual immorality or maybe even like just atheism overall will bring you freedom that's like the ultimate lie that the adversary would want you to believe. And frankly, that's not freedom. I mean, I've, I've talked with my brother about this because I struggle myself with my own demons. Multiple sclerosis, autism, form of ADHD that gets me paralyzed, which is why I have a hard time posting YouTube videos. And just other sins that I am not a big fan of, but I know I can be better. Does that mean that I am bound? Does that mean that I am, in a way, misinformed? Or rather, not having true freedom as is given? I don't agree with that. Rather, I believe that I am the most free that I could ever be. The only way that I'm not actually free is my Dr. Pepper. I, I definitely drink that once a day for the most part, but even still, just because I regulate it doesn't mean that I can't get enough of it every now and then. But the point still remains about the same principle. If it gives you more freedom, if it gives you more choice in your life, then, and it is good, then choose it. Honestly, I don't really care about, like, what religious faith you are. Understanding that religion in itself at least gives a sense of joy, even if it is to some binding curse on them. But I don't think that's the case. Rather, I do think in the sense, and I'm trying to keep myself getting to the point, I do think that the most free that we can ever be is not when we have no rules, but when we abide by the rules that we are given. The commandments, the covenants, what we, the oaths that we take upon ourselves. They give us more freedom. They give us more power. Alcoholism leads to its own addiction. Drug abuse leads to its own addiction. And you're suddenly bound by that for the rest of your life. Is that freedom? Pornographic indulgence, is that freedom? Or even just the lack of a God in your life. How much freedom is that? 
knowing that you feel like there's nothing to live for. That you just want to kill yourself right off the bat. And believe me, I've tried many times to kill myself just because I thought my life was a bit of a joke. Where I thought death would be the punchline. But even after all those times, you know, it was never funny to treat your life as something so fickle. With that being said, my friends, I truly hope that we can be able to understand that God was dead. But on the third day, he rose from the grave. <laughs> So there's that. There's that perspective to think about. Anyways, I sure hope that you guys have a great day and a great Sabbath. Depending on where you're at, it's almost Saturday, so I gotta prepare myself for Shabbat, you know? <laughs> and it's kind of a funny thing on my end. Being able to do not necessarily the rituals of Shabbat, but understanding the context of why these things are given in their context and bringing it back to our view. It suddenly gives us brighter knowledge. As if to say, we switched out the dim lights in our rooms for LEDs and the next thing you know, it's brighter. That's the cool part about knowledge is that it just keeps getting brighter and brighter depending on what you seek. And with that said, my friends, Shabbat Shalom and have a wonderful day.